Let's talk about Laravel routing. Routing is going to be the foundation of every application that we build, and it's going to be the start of every application and every component that we build. It's really good to get a top level overview in our routes file, since this is where we can see all of the ways that people are going to get routed through our application. To get started, we are going to create a brand new application. Make sure that you have PHP, make sure that you have Composer and the Laravel installer installed. And we will create a new application using Laravel new routing app. Go ahead and let that run. That's going to bring in all of our Composer dependencies and create a new Laravel app in the routing app folder that we just specified. The cool thing about this is that it will also generate our new .env file and our app key that is needed for our application. Great, looks like that's ready to go. We've created our .env file from the .env example. We have created a new application key which was set in the new .env file. Now we have this ready to go, let's bring this into Sublime Text. We'll use our sublime.exe command and we want the routing app folder. Perfect. So this is how we're going to mess around with some routing and development. We're going to have Sublime Text and Chrome ready to go. Let's make sure that this Laravel install went smoothly. Switch back over to the command line. We are going to use the built-in PHP server to serve this application. PHP artisan serve. Oh, looks like we have to cd into the correct folder. Choose directory, routing app, the application we just created. Now we'll run the command. And our server gets started on localhost 8000. And we have our brand new Laravel 5 application here and ready to go. Now all of our routes are going to live in our app folder. HTTP, since everything in the routes deals with everything that happens over HTTP open up our routes folder and you can see that there's a basic route here created for us. This route is the homepage route that we just got. The forward slash is actually the trailing slash here so everything in this routes folder is going to correspond to this URL in the in the browser and we are returning a view here and this view is a welcome file that comes built in shipped with Laravel. Let's see how we can create our own new route. Now a basic route will look like this. We're going to use the route facade to generate routes on our application. And this is the HTTP verb, which here is the get verb. And let's create a route for the about page. And we're going to return the about view. Create a new route, get about function. We have a problem here our view about does not exist. We can create that. By default this view helper will look for views in the resources views folder. This is the welcome.blade that we just saw in action. We're going to create two new files. We'll make home.blade and we will also make an about.blade.php file. I am the about page and in the home page we'll do the same and then over in our routes file let's switch the welcome page out for the new home page that we generated back in our Chrome browser refresh we have the about page go back to the home page and we have a home page easy enough the last thing I want to do is let's create links between both of these home and about pages we're going to start an HTML file really quickly, HTML5, tab that, and we have our snippet. We'll name the title routing app. And in here, let's create a link over to that about page. And a link also for the home page. Perfect. We'll copy that, go over to about, move this down, and let's try that again. Home page, we have home and about links. About page goes to the about page. Home goes back to the home page. Perfect. And this will be a really good way to show how we can get routing and links throughout our application.